Okay. Um, enable tweet your location and don't drive emergency rescue teams crazy. Uh, improving situational awareness using Twitter. Okay, first this is a project developed uh, in Deusto Tech, the, the uh, Institute of Technology of University of Deusto in Bilbao. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, the outline of the presentation, uh, motivations of the project, uh, why we choose Twitter as our social network to the project, how to extract the, the relevant information of these tweets, the location problems we found when we start to the project, uh, noise reduction and disambiguation uh, explain these problems, the proposed solutions of this, so uh, the pre uh, preliminary results of the project and conclusions and future work. Okay, first, motivations of the project. Uh, our work is principally motivated by a, a national project called Savers Project, uh, whose goal is to track uh, emergency events uh, using social networks uh, automatically. Why social networks? Because social networks uh, provide a high, avail high availability compared with traditional communication services. Uh, for example, uh, during an earthquake, uh, phone lines may be broken or damaged and the repairs usually take mm, several days. Instead, uh, social networks are rarely inaccessible and provide us a new way from alerts. Additionally, uh, people usually tend to post more often than alerting authorities or emergency rescue teams. Uh, for example, if they observe a smoke, uh, they probably decide not to alert the authorities, but just talk about it in a social network or post it in Twitter. In addition, uh, programmatic analysis allows us to easy to automate the, the incoming data uh, without the need of high human resources. Okay. Why Twitter? Uh, Finally, the social network we, we select for this project has been Twitter, but uh, what is this advantages of, of Twitter? Uh, nowadays, Twitter is a very popular communication tool with half a high number of users and information, and is one of the most used tools for broadcasting news in real time. Uh, these features make Twitter a powerful tool for real-time data mining and including disasters detecting. Uh, by contrast, uh, Twitter has several drawbacks uh, we found during the project. These drawbacks are basically two. The small size of the, of the post and the the large amount of noise uh, existing in the in the social network. Uh, this means that on one hand uh, we can't discard any information, but on the other hand we need to clean this information before working with them. Okay, how to extract real EPA? Sorry. How to extract relevant information? Uh, to extract information and detect disasters, uh, we must emphasize this in two factors. What happened and where it happened. Uh, first section focuses in detect the, in real time, the tweets that make reference to any, to any disaster and filter it. Actually, we filter these tweets using uh, keywords and context filters that provide us an, an extreming of tweets related with uh, several types of disasters. Uh, once we know the, the tweets relating to disaster, our next step is to locate where is this disaster happened. 
Uh, okay. Obviously, our initial idea is to uh, to take advantage of the of the tools provided by the Twitter itself, like uh, users' profiles location and the geotag tweets. Uh, additionally, uh, we use uh, NERS systems, uh, name entity recognition system, uh, to analyze the text and searching uh, the locations the tweets are talking <coughs> about. Uh, these NERS systems uh, are techniques of information extraction that seeks to locate and classify uh, atomic elements in text into predefined categories such as names of persons, uh, organizations, and in this case, locations. Okay. Next. But unfortunately, uh, these tools are not just as helpful al as we thought, uh, and exist several problems we have to solve in a more creative way. Uh, first of this problem is uh, angiotouch tweeters and users. Uh, actually, uh, very few users use Twitter geotagging, uh, mainly due to privas, privacy reasons, and this forces you to use uh, additional criteria to uh, place these locations and these tweets. Uh, furthermore, there is a problem of the high amount of noise existing in Twitter, that is uh, a lot of irrelevant information that normally difficults the message comprehension. And the last problem, uh, we shall see later, is ambiguity. It is uh, how to know the correct place a text refers if when there are some places within, uh, with the same name. No reduction. Uh, here's an example of a tweet referring to a, to a file. Uh, as you can see, there are several characteristics that increase the difficult to the neural analysis and to increase the number of annotations we extract with these neural tools, uh, we have developed some modules to clean this text. Uh, the system process for analysis a tweet is as follows. First, uh, we apply an slang cleaner model that detect uh, common slang words in English and replace them with the equivalent expression on plain language. Example. Okay. Then, uh, the next step is to clean the stop words. The stop words are a list of uh, static predefined words that uh, we know that they didn't apport any information to the text. Uh, then, uh, finally, uh, Twitter symbols like hashtags, uh, retweets, uh, other users' mentions, links, and this type of things are, are not analyzed and removed from the text. We take this Finally, and then the name entity tool, the neural analyzer, process this text and detect uh, locations. Uh, obviously, this process may be wrong sometimes, but have a high accuracy of success. In this example, finally, we got the Springfield Marcus location. Okay. Well, here is some results about these tools. Uh, the results uh, is a preliminary test, and using a corpus about uh, 1,000 tweets relative to a, to the last year's uh, Japan earthquakes. We show you later, and in this comparison, we use two different uh, neural analyzer tools. The Stanford tool, this is a general purpose analyzer, and Twitter tool, this is a neural analyzer specifically designed for Twitter, but had a worse uh, 
low results and stuff. Okay. Disambiguation. Disambiguation is, the, is the, the second problem of the of the process, and it's because we can also be found uh, when different real places uh, is identified with the same location name. For example, Springfield exists in the world around uh, 70 places called Springfield, and, <laughs> and 40 of these places are only in USA. Uh, additionally, uh, I will have another problem with this invasion, that is the rarely people refer of an incident uh, given the precise address, uh, ending with area reference of gen general cities of whole states. Certain emergencies very affect uh, a rich, uh, city or state, like earthquakes or floodings, but uh, a lot of incidents only affect the neighborhood, the road, the street, for example, the, the Boston Marathon incident. And we need to, to give the most precise address for each incident. Okay. There. Proposed solutions. When the neural analyzer extracts all the, the places in the tweets, uh, we use four geolocalization applications, geolocalization uh, web services, to process this text. These four applications are uh, nominating of OpenStreetMaps application, GeoNames, Google Reverse Calls, and Yahoo GeoPlanet. Uh, compare the results of these four web services, and with algorithms, check uh, the most uh, probably place from this world. Uh, we use this zoom levels ontology extracted by nominatim <coughs> to place country, state, uh, suburb, road, with precision. And uh, obviously this process uh, has uh, evolved through time. And for example, if we identified uh, London place in a tweet. We don't know if this is London, UK, London, Canada, London, Guinea. Uh, we continuously uh, analyze the, the retweets of this tweet, conversations, citations, mentions of this tweet, uh, and if mm, in the next time uh, in this same conversation someone speak about Piccadilly Circus, for example, we know that Piccadilly Circus is in London, UK, and we know that it's London, UK, and we can discard the other London places. Okay. Uh, okay. I want to see you uh, a little demonstration of, who's, uh, of how works the application. Okay. Okay, in this case, we first see how using this label tags, so this uh, location tags, for example, in this case, University of Warwick, we use the fourth geolocation web services and the system plays the Warwick University in a map. And not only make a, a point, not only point out and uh, give us uh, these bounding boxes, this perimeter of the locations, and we can identify uh, small places into other big places. For example, if you know, we change University of Warwick for Scarman in Warwick in applications, uh, ask about that, and detect. Uh, well, we can see uh, one of the four locations fail, and mark Warwick city, but the other uh, answer us marking Scarman Car Park, Scarman House, Scarman Road, and all the perimeter. Okay. Here. And now we have to identify the, the perimeter of this disaster. 
Okay, and with this we can we can handle. But for example, this is a, a full corpus that I spent before of the tweet uh, of the tweets with his metadata about the Japanese earthquake of last year. This is the, the original text of these tweets and with all the noise. This is the processed text and clean text. And, and this is the, the places detected by the NR analyzer. Now we take all this data combine this data with the geolocation applications and find them find it in a map. We can see some points in the United States, in Europe, but if we move to the Japan, we see all the Japan places reference about this disaster tweets. You can see that the most number of highest number of tweets are around the the basic areas of the earthquake, and we can see the perimeters of these locations. And when when we with this information, we can do uh, algorithms, mathematics with the, uh, with all the the coordinates of these points and clustering them in groups uh, for each incident or make uh, group areas when the disasters are more intense. And uh, the different colors of the points is referring to the different uh, web service that point them. Okay. This is a proposed solution. Sorry. Okay, and this is the results of the preliminary tests. We can see first a uh, comparison between two neural analyzer tools and the filters we use, like slang cleaner, stop wash removal, and the combination. And the results comparison between the location with Stanford, <coughs> the different uh, web services like Nominatim, GeoNames. Um, uh, the conclusions of the work is to, we are now trying to implement, de implement the algorithms for another social networks like Facebook. Okay. We need to improve the conversation graphs we used to to do disambiguity locations and obviously increase the, the accuracy of the of the system. And this is some reference of the project and thank you for your attention. This is my Twitter and my <laughs> email if you need something and questions. <coughs>